Hello, Evil Softman here, back for another vid. And yeah, today I really shouldn't have, but I did. I went back and put a check into the bank so I could get some bit of money back on certain bills and everything. And I also transferred a bit of money. I was just, I had a little bit of money spare going. And I thought, all right, well, I'll go and have a look. Anything takes my eye, but it has to be quite cheap. So we dropped off, we got into cash converters. Yes, our old great pish emporium. Emporium. <laughs> emporium. Right. And yes, I got a few little things, but all this came for 10 quid. Which, not too bad, to be fairly honest. This could be annoying getting these stickers off. And he's. The thing with cash converters at the moment, well, I'm just pissed off with them just for this bit, is they've done two little mistakes. One's not so much of a problem, the other one, well, it depends how you take it, really. But, right, the first game is Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, the original one. I've never actually owned any of the Prince of Persia games, apart from going back to the Amiga 500. I had the original Prince of Persia on the Amiga 500. So, it's been a long, long time since I've actually played one of these games, and I always saw the great reviews that came out for them. And so I thought, well, I'll go and pick this up and actually sort it. It's like, I'm a big fan of, like, platforming adventure games, so I'm thinking I probably should enjoy it. Uh, but it's goal complete. Um, it's got the manual. And there's your first big mistake. Standard box, standard instructions, platinum disc. Tit. Which is not so bad. I think the best versions to get them for is probably going to be the GameCube, so... I might try and get all of them for the GameCube cheap anyway, so it's not such a problem. I'm just going to test it out to see if I like it or not, if I don't, don't. But I think I probably will, just thinking about it. Next one. The Warriors. Now, I heard about this at the time, and it was meant to be like a 3D kind of Streets of Rage game based off the Warriors film, which is just awesome anyway. So I thought, yeah, we'll put, we'll put some of that. It's not so bad. And it definitely looks good. That one is in great condition. And it's fully complete with the disc and instruction manual. I have a feeling it used to come with a map. But maybe I'm, I think when my flatmate got it, he had a map or something in it as well. But I could be wrong. Or a poster, definitely something extra. But that's nothing too major, to be fairly honest. Right, next one. From Russia with Love. Now this is my flatmate's favourite Bond film. He was telling me this every night. And so they made a game about it. And it's got Sean Connery back in. And uh, it looks alright. I haven't really bought any other game, James Bond games apart from really Goldeneye. So aye, I'm going to give this one a shot. See what it's like. It's been a while since I've really put the PS2 on. To be fairly honest, I've been sticking with my Wii quite of recent, and you can see where the video has been doing that case, so ah, we have to have some PS2 love. <laughs> but ah, the last one, which I bought knowing I don't even have the console, but I thought I could get this to work on the 360 anyway. So I've got an Xbox, and it's Project Gotham Racing. Now I'm going to zoom this in, because this was one pound. <laughs> it's like in box. Doesn't have the manual. Uh, put the disc in. I was testing the disc out a second ago anyway. But he gave me the disc, and the disc is Project Gotham Racing 2 and not 1. And it's a bit annoying when you've got the box for one and the disc for the other one. And it's I know probably it's not going to make too much of a difference, but I'm a big fan of the series. I have 3 and 4 in the 360, and. <sighs> It's not the biggest deal, so it's all right. And it works fine in the 360. I was testing it there go a minute ago. But all right, that's just my four little pickups today. And like I said, it came to 10 quid. So that's not so bad. Don't think I'm going to be getting anything else. Oh, totally lied. Um, I, was, I put money on it on my 360 account the other week, last week intention of buying a game and I bought it today and that is Alien Breed Evolution 
Now, this is like a new res, high res version of the original Alien breed that was on the Amiga. And they've got a whole new story, whole new graphics and everything. It's been done up with the Unreal Engine version 3. And it looks stunning. And I've been going through that. I did the first little bit of that uh, today. I've just been mucking around on that earlier. And it is really, really good. I'll get a gameplay video of that up because I don't know if many people know about it. It's like there is a lot of good stuff coming out in the arcade that maybe will go past people because they're not looking for it. But all right, this evil sloth man. Ouch. If I can find a controller. <laughs> <laughs>